Today we are going to discuss about how to start a small business. Many of the viewers has asked us how to start a business. So in today's lecture discussion, we will discuss about how to start a small business. Starting a small business is without no doubt is a undertaking, but it is not an easy task. It cannot be attained without anything. Today we are going to discuss about how to start a business. Starting a business involves thinking of business concept, writing a business plan, understanding the financial side and finally marketing and launching. So first of all you will have to define your goals. Do you want financial independence eventually selling your business to the highest bidder? Or do you want something small and sustainable that you love doing and from which you want to derive a steady income? These are some of the basic things which you have to think about. Then choose an idea. It might be product you have always wanted to make or a service you feel people need. It might even be something people don't know they need yet because it hasn't been invented and you think you can invent it. It can be helpful to have people who are bright and creative in your team. Consider your talent, experience and knowledge when selecting a concept. If you have a particular skill set or talent, consider how these resources can be applied to meeting some sort of market demand. Combining a skill and knowledge with the market demand increase your odds of having a successful business. Create a working name. Decide a name for your business. You could even do this before you have an idea for the business and if the name is good, you might find it helps you define your business idea. Always check if the name is uh, being used by someone else or not. Don't take up common names which are used by other companies. Don't be a copycat. Be unique and specific. Define your team. Then you have to think who will join your company. It is better to start your business with at least two persons who are like-minded and who want to work together then other can join. Choose your partner wisely. So if you are trying to set up new business, you should select your partner, business partner who is compatible with you, who like your idea, who is helping you and supporting you on the idea and who has also some sort of business skills which might help you in your business. Then write a business plan. A business plan helps to define what you think you need to launch your business. It summarizes the sense of your business in a simple document. It creates a map for investors, bankers and other interested parties to use them and determine how they can trust you. Write your business description. Describe your business more specifically and how it fits into the market in general. Define who are your potential customers, what price are they willing to pay for your products, who are your competitors, you should always identify them. Write an operational plan. This describes how you will proceed to deliver your product or service. So if you are thinking of product, then you should know what product you are going to 
make do you have the required software physical software and technical skills that you need for making that product you can also work on your idea of service so you should think how you can provide the service what are the services that you will provide then write down the marketing plan your operational plan describes how you will produce your product but marketing plan describes how you will sell your product after you have produced your product or have you thought of what service you are going to provide then it is time for marketing so you should also set up a pricing model you should compare with your competitors and then determine a optimal and good pricing which buyers are willing to pay you cover the financials the financial statement translate your marketing and operational plans into numbers profit and cash flow they identify how much money you will need and how much you might make since this is the most dynamic part of the your plan and perhaps the most important of long term stability you should update this monthly for the first yearly quarterly for the second year and then annually after that